Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chuck Glenn. I'm a Kobe and Team Ambassador. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a backside helicopter on a stand-up paddleboard. But before we do that, i got to stop into Paddle Planet here in Arcadia and grab some gear. Be right out. Paddle Planet's a one-stop shop. They have everything from your surfboards, race boards, touring boards, footwear down at the beach. They even have your GoPro camera if you're trying to get that footage. you got to come down and check it out. Hey guys, got what I need here. So we're gonna head down to the water now for a maneuver breakdown. So hey guys, we've broken down the backside helicopter into these eight steps. By the time you've completed these first eight steps, you'll have successfully pulled off a backside helicopter. Step one for the backside helicopter is your setup. When you first catch the wave, you see the section you would like to perform the maneuver in. You wanna look for a section that's gonna break, but then have a softer spot after it. It'll allow you to perform your trick without the wave running away from you. So step two is breaking your fins free. The first thing we need to do is to draw a line from low to high, stalling out some of our speed. We're able to work our way to the nose of the board, transferring our weight, from our back foot to our front foot. You can use your paddle as a brace and even give it a little bit of a push to help your fins release. Step three, control your backwards re-entry with the board. Have your back foot centered over the board so you have your heel to toe control of your rails and your front foot is still gonna be up on the nose with some weight applied simply to keep your tail lifted so your fins can stay disengaged throughout the rotation. So step four is setting up your transition. When you're sliding backwards, you wanna to start to bring your paddle out and around your nose to the other side. And then also the last part of this step is to bring your head from spotting where you are to turning it the other way to, to look for where you're gonna be going. So step five is refinding yourself on the wave. When we initiated it, we were a little bit more heavy on our heels and then coming around, and now we need to do the exact opposite. We need to be more, more weight on our toes, allowing that back rail to lift as you come around. And also with your head turned, you wanna be looking at where you're going, spotting your landing. Step six is more focusing on our paddle transfer. So when we started this maneuver, our paddle was on our backside. Now we need to bring it back to our front side, so that way when we finish, we can use it to either brace if we need to, or we can use it to help take a final stroke to help straighten you out if you've lost speed. So step seven is the recovery. This is where we're gonna to start to re-engage our fins and the board will also start to slingshot a little bit of a quicker rotation. So to do this, we're still up on the nose. We need to move our weight back to the tail. Our weight is also on our toe side rail and as we transition to the back, that weight needs to become more neutral between our toes and our heels. Another thing about this is now that our paddle is back to our front side, it's nice to have that as a luxury because as that board tends to slingshot around, you can slowly get down and use that as a brace if you need to. So step eight is the completion of your backside helicopter. The important step here is to get back onto your heel side edge to allow you to continue moving down the face of the wave without the wave outrunning you. Hey guys, I hope these eight steps really help you out to learn this backside helicopter maneuver. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun in the water and once you get it dialed, it's, it's really a fun maneuver to pull off in the water. Um, it doesn't happen overnight, so don't get frustrated with it. Just keep on smiling and see you out in the water. Paddle Planet has a cool rental program where a certain percentage of your rental fee goes towards the ownership of a new board. So you can try out a variety of different boards and find out what works best for you and put that towards your new board. You know, this shop has a lot more to offer than what we're able to show you in this short clip. So if you're interested in learning more about it, you can go to www.paddleplanet.net to learn more about it.